All right, guys, co-main event. Super excited for this one. Cameron Simon versus Peyton Talbot. Two young guys up and comers. They haven't been in the UFC long. They're really, really, really high level already. Robin, what you got for Mr. Talbot? I got Cameron Simon. I see. Cameron Simon is like the little brother of DDP. They're training partners. He's only 23. There's a lot of similarities in the style. He likes to strike with the hands. He usually kicks to get there. He's got great leg kicks. He's got great head kicks. He's got great spinning kicks. When he does come in with the hands, it's a lot of combos. It's a lot of flurries. He's a southpaw, but he will often shift forward into orthodox to switch what his power hand is and set up a big right hook or a new lead hook. He's very, very aggressive on the feet. If there's only one criticism I have on the feet is that sometimes he gets too close. He's kicking from this outside range, and mm -hmm. then he'll shift in or crash in, and he is so close to mm -hmm. guys swinging for the fences. It gets him hit sometimes, but he's always chasing that knockout. Besides that, he's very well-rounded. In his last fight, which was the only loss of his career against Christian Rodriguez, another very talented kid, he showed a very well-rounded game. He can do it all. He can scramble. He can wrestle. He has good cardio. He can go three rounds. If he's in a scramble, he'll go for Grambies. He'll go for guillotines to sweep and chase position and chase submissions. This kid is very well-rounded, very aggressive. I'm excited for this fight. What do you think of his opponent, Peyton Talbot? He's a Dana White's Contender Series uh, product. Comes forward. The first thing that comes to mind is just confidence. This guy believes in his hands, believes in his chin. He'll get in exchanges. He'll trade. And throughout his career, it's paid off. He'll eat a shot to give a shot, and it usually ends up with his opponent getting dropped. Tremendous rear hand, but he's diverse with his attack. It could be an uppercut. It could be a hook cross. He's dropping people left and right. He's staying in their face. He's marching them down. little heavy-footed, uh, likes to plant. But like I said, it's paid off for him. In his last fight, he got taken down. He lost the first round handily, a lot of back control, a lot of takedowns. But as the fight progressed, his pressure really wore in his opponent, got him tired, stayed on him, and ended up getting the finish. Really impressive, really composed for how aggressive he is and just looks so comfortable in the fire and in the exchanges. How do you see this one going? These are two guys who you like to pressure. These are two guys who are used to being the hammer, not the nail. So I'm very curious to see how this goes. If there's an edge for someone, I'm going to give Simon a slight edge in the grappling. We mm. really saw Talbot struggle early on in his first UFC fight. He won later with the grappling, got a rear naked choke. But I saw a few things that lead me to believe Simon can make this a close fight, mix in a little bit of intelligent grappling, and take over with that. I'm going to go Cameron Simon by a very close decision, but this fight could go either way. What do you think? Where I saw Simon falter a bit, not his cardio, his wrestling defense against Christian Rodriguez. Great fight. Really fun fight. Very close. He got taken down over and over again. Got hit with some hard shots. Ended up getting some nice reversals and scrambling really well. I do think he's a bit more comfortable there. If Peyton has a big advantage, it's the power. I do think he hits harder than Simon. We might see him drop Simon in one of the early rounds. But I think they're both gamers. This one's going to go to a decision in my mind. I think Simon can outpoint him if he's smart. But there's no way these two don't start clashing and, and trading shots at some point during this contest. He's got to look out for the power. I think we go Simon decision on this one. Cameron Simon, let's go.